So if your manager tells you to create a running total, how do you do that? You can do that in less than one minute. I will put my cursor over here. You will go to insert. You click on pivot table and you click on existing sheet because I want to create running total or you can say YTD in a same sheet. So I will select the cell. So remember, I have gone to insert pivot table. I selected the existing sheet and here in the location I have selected this cell where I need and then I will say OK. Perfect. Now you will drag the month under the row, take the total and drag it under the value. So this is a simple pivot which you have created. It's almost same. Now I want another column over here which should show me a running total. So I take this total once again and I drag it under the value means below this sum of total. Okay, perfect. Now see the magic. I right click on that second column. You go to the show value as and here you get option running total. If you want, you can even take the second option that is percentage. So it will show you a difference between two months. Okay. So I am taking running total over here and I click on it. And now you just have to select months and by default it will be only months. And I just say OK and here you go. Wow. So what is this? So basically this is the same number because it's the first month. Now what is this number 988? This is an addition of this two. So when I say equal this plus this that is Jan plus Feb. So you get this same number. So this is an addition of two months. 153 is an addition of all this means till March this was your sales total sales till April the sales was this much. So this is known as a running total which can be created with the help of pivot table. Thank you.